John, thank you very much for the invitation to your stand at Mac 2018. It's an impressive Renishaw PLC. You're great innovators of metrology solutions. You have the Equator 300, but you've got a big brother now. We certainly do. So the Equator 300, as many people know, has got a working volume of 300 millimetres uh, in diameter and a, uh, a height of 150 millimetres. We move over to the, uh, the Equator 500, um, you'll see that the working volume is a heck of a lot bigger. Um, so we've increased the working volume so that it is now a 500 millimeter diameter and we can get up to 400 millimeters in height on this machine now. So in terms of the types of components you can put on, you know, there's a, a much greater range. And I, I like what you've done here is because you've got a, a smaller version, a much larger one. I know it's really simple, but it does show you the size difference. It does. So. Uh, in terms of the uh, the components, uh, we haven't done it uh, as a uh, as a sort of coincidence. Uh, it's to demonstrate the fact that we have a lot of customers who, um, when they saw the Equator 300, they got really excited about what uh, what it could potentially do for their manufacturing process. Um, but at the same time, they had small parts, but they also had larger parts, which were far too big to fit on the 300. Um, and understandably, they wanted a measuring solution that. Uh, was standardised across their um, across their shop floor. So, what we're aiming to do with this demonstration is to show that now, with the equator gauging family, we're able to measure both their small parts, but now their larger parts as well, and give them that standardised solution that they were so excited about getting with the, with the 300. Now, if I'm an engineer and uh, I'm looking for a solution in metrology. You've got a CMM, you've got arms, you've got scanning products to a certain extent, but what real benefit does the Equator give them effectively? So the, uh, the Equator, because it is, uh, we've designed it to be uh, on the shop floor right next to the machine tools, um, the Equator works via a, a master measure principle. So the idea is that you'll have a, a master part and that will undergo the same uh, thermal um, variation, same thermal changes that you would see with your production parts. You know, on your shop floor, the machines turn on at different parts of the day, it gets hotter, it gets colder, you've got seasonal changes, all that to factor in. By having a master part that undergoes those changes, all you have to do is put that master part on the equator, run the, uh, the, the master program, which is the exact same as, uh, as a measurement uh, sequence, and that essentially zeroes the machine for that particular temperature and they're able to put your parts on and get that same plus or minus two micro repeatability between five degrees and 50 degrees. And I suppose from a, an engineer's perspective, it's obviously going to be a little bit more cost effective than a, a CMM because you'll, also you've got maybe temperature controlled rooms, etc. And, and also the footprint's quite small, isn't it? The footprint is quite small. I mean, if you're wanting to, to integrate this into a, uh, an automated cell, you know, where uh, shop floor, um, spaces at a premium, you've got a nice, tight, compact system. You know, the, the working volume to the actual size of the machine, the ratio is, is pretty good. When you've got a, uh, you know, a, a larger sort of uh, measuring device and maybe, you know, a lot of it is, uh, is taken up by, by a bit of granite, then, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a different sort of thing. But what's, uh, what we try and make our, our customers, um, you know, realize is that it is a, it's a gauge, so it's, it's used to, um, in replace for uh, vernier calipers, for micrometers, for um, you know go no go gauges, but it takes the it takes the guesswork out because it's an automated system. Um, you're not having operators you know measuring a part, and one person will go, yeah, that's a good part. Another person might go, oh no, that's a bad part. You know, Equator will deliver the same repeatable results day in day out. Um, so yeah, it gets away with that that guesswork, and that's what our customers are, are really benefiting from. And for those engineers that have not made Mac 2018, what's your message to them? They could come down to our side and wouldn't underedge any time uh, new mills. We've got a lovely facility there, our innovation centre, and any one of us will be happy to show them around. John, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.